everyone. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make your own homemade stick traps. Um, I've gotten all of my materials here. Just go through them. So I'm using a thin piece of yellow plastic instead of cardboard because it's what I had. Um, this one already has holes in it, but you'll probably need to put holes in yours. I've got string for tying it up because I'll need to do that to let it dry. And then, most importantly, I have my ingredients which is one part water, it's an eighth of a cup, one part corn syrup, another eighth of a cup, and an eighth of a cup of sugar. I'm doing this on the stove, but you can do this in the microwave very, very carefully. First thing you do is turn on your heat and mix together your sugar and water. You can stir it with a regular spoon or I'm just using a spatula. It's going to take a little bit um, as the water heats up for all of the sugar to melt um, and to be mixed in. As you can see right now, it was grainy, but now almost all of the sugar has dissolved. Next, I need to add in my corn syrup. You can also use honey in place of corn syrup if you have that. Both of them work equally well in my experience. I'm using is just carol light corn syrup, but you can use any real type of any type of corn syrup. It doesn't have to be the light stuff. Thicker is usually better, actually. Okay, so this is the basis for our sticky goo, but I'm going to leave it on the heat for a little bit to try and evaporate some of the water out. That way, it'll adhere better to the plastic. As you can see, my mixture has come to a boil. That is about as hot as you want to get it. Um, you do not want to burn it, otherwise it won't work properly. Uh, but this should be enough for it to be nice and thick. I'm going to turn it off the heat. I'm taking it off the heat because of the properties of my oven. Now, if you do accidentally keep going, um, it will either burn to the bottom of the pan, or if you keep mixing, it will turn into caramel. but burnt sugar is extremely difficult to clean, so I don't recommend doing that. Okay. Okay, so now we're on to the next stage. My syrup is cooled. At this point, you have a couple of different options. If you're using paper or any type of plastic, you can just dip it straight into the pan, um, or you can do what I'm doing and use a paintbrush. And the next step is super easy. You take your paintbrush and And the next step is super easy. You take your paintbrush and you apply. Now because I'm using plastic here, it's going to be a little bunchy. If you're using uh, paper, which I know most of you will be, it will some of it will get absorbed into your paper. Um, so it may take a few coats for you to get a really good solid uh, sticky surface. As you can see now, I've got my whole surface covered in sticky goo. It's lovely and sticky. Um, now you can hang it up to dry or lay it flat to dry. Personally, I would recommend laying it flat. Um, if you're going to do both sides of them, uh, then I would hang it up, but do put a paper towel or something underneath it because some of it may drip a little bit. Um, and that's it. If you don't have the ingredients that I used here, 
um, which is just plain ordinary sugar, corn syrup, and water, which you of course should have. Um, you can let either myself or Natalie know, and we should be able to help you and answer any of the questions that you have. Good luck.